back to my channel and happy Monday. For those who don't know me, my name is Kristen Martin. I'm an Amazon bestselling author of four books, a writing coach, a podcaster, and a YouTuber. I created this channel three years ago in March of 2015 in the hopes that I could inspire aspiring authors and share my struggles and wins along my writing and publishing journey. And I do want to apologize real quick for the lighting situation. I'm looking at it in the little viewfinder and it's really bright but it's a very cloudy day here in texas and the sun is going in and out of the clouds so if it gets dark and then suddenly light again you know it is what it is i'm working with the natural light i'm working with what i've got so today's video is one that i'm really really excited about and also a little bit terrified like i've been dying inside thinking about filming this video but Today, as promised, I'm actually going to be revealing the title, the cover, and the projected release date for my personal development book. Now, this is the first nonfiction book that I have ever written, and it's very different from writing fiction. So in today's video, I'm actually going to share the top five things I've learned, or my top five key takeaways when it comes to writing nonfiction, specifically a personal development book. And then after I share those five key takeaways, I will reveal the title cover and release date for the book. So make sure you stay tuned at the end of this video for that. But let's go ahead and roll right on into the five things I learned. Number one, sharing your personal journey is really freaking hard. I feel like I don't really have to explain this one because whenever you're talking about the things that have shaped you and molded you into the person that you are today, that's really hard to put into words, first of all, but then to think about other people reading about those experiences and not maybe vibing with it or fully connecting with it or maybe they've never been through something like that before. So it's hard to really decide how much to share and how much to keep to yourself. See, the sun just went away. But in this particular book, I share more. I share more than I thought I was going to and after reading it back, there are still some experiences I'm sharing where I kind of cringe and I'm like, am I sharing too much about this or do I need to expand upon this one more? But all in all, I am very happy with the way my experiences, the way I've portrayed my own experiences. So yeah, I'm just gonna say that, that sharing your personal journey and especially putting it into words is extremely difficult. The second thing I learned is that having to dig deep is an understatement. And this kind of ties into number one, but there are a lot of chapters in this personal development book where I actually had to sit down and drink a couple of glasses of wine before I started writing the nitty gritty of the chapter. And this is just because I needed my inhibitions to be lowered or maybe to not even exist at all. I basically, I needed to not have a filter and I tend to have a filter, especially when I'm writing about my own experiences. And I do the very best I can to be raw and vulnerable and open in my podcast and also in this book. But yeah, I definitely had to have a little bit of liquid courage to write some of the chapters. And even in the chapters, I tell you, I've had some wine while writing this. Of course, I've gone back through and I've edited some of the things that didn't make sense or expanded upon things more, but I really didn't take anything out. Like, everything that was there and I just blah like put it out there it's out there and it's in that book and we're dark again <laughs> the third thing I learned is that nonfiction it takes a lot longer to write than fiction so writing fiction I can normally write a first draft in two to three months give or take with nonfiction, this book has just taken me a lot longer to write, like two years to really write it and get it to the point where I feel comfortable putting it out into the world and having people read it and possibly even tear it apart, which is honestly kind of funny when you think about it because I don't know how other people can try to tear apart someone else's experiences. Like these things happened and this is how I chose to perceive it and this is my reflection on it after the fact, so. That's an interesting thought. <laughs> but yes, it took a long time for me to write this personal development book. And I feel like it's because for each of the chapters, there's a different sort of mindset or a different sort of mood that I had to put myself in, or I had to really be feeling that topic for that day in order to be able to write about it to the best of my ability. Or especially if I was sharing something really personal about myself and my journey, I really had to kind of work myself up and amp myself up to actually write the chapter. The fourth thing I learned is that when you're writing nonfiction, it's a major self-discovery process. So the big difference I think between writing nonfiction and fiction is that when you're writing fiction, you have these characters that you've made up. You've developed them, you've created their arcs, and they're real to you, but they're still 
fake. They're still not real. On the other end of the spectrum, when you're writing about yourself and you're sharing your personal experiences and your journey, you end up learning a lot about yourself along the way. Things that maybe you had hidden deep down and really didn't want to uncover, but were good to uncover. I had a lot of those actually. And I also discovered some new things about myself that I hadn't realized before. And especially going back and reflecting on old journal entries, I realized how much my mindset has shifted and changed and how much I've evolved spiritually and just as a person in general. So that was a really neat thing to experience while writing this personal development book. And the sun's back for the fifth thing I learned, which is that nonfiction never truly feels finished. And I think this also ties into my third point of it taking a longer time to write than fiction, because I feel like with nonfiction and especially personal development, new experiences happen on a daily basis. You know, in a year from now, I could have five more chapters that I want to add to this book. And that's something that's been really difficult for me because I like the feeling of having a story being finished. With my fiction, I feel like my stories are finished or if it's a series, I know where it's going to go and I know how it's going to finish. With personal development, I don't fully know what the ending is going to look like. And I think that's why it also took me so long to write this book is because I felt like I was constantly evolving and learning and growing. And because you're constantly having new experiences, then it makes sense that your personal development is not finished so you know how can the book be finished so that was an interesting thing for me to sort of accept and say okay this book is done and the great thing is that as i learn more i'll just write another book it doesn't all have to be in this book okay so those are my five key takeaways when it comes to writing nonfiction. and obviously this video was geared more toward self-help and personal development if you're writing a biography or something like that then obviously there's a lot more that goes into that with research and fact finding and all that good stuff so the moment we've all been waiting for let me finally reveal the title the cover and the release date for this book. And I'm having like, I'm having an anxiety attack on screen right now. Maybe I need to go watch my own video and take my own advice <laughs> in last week's video about dealing with anxiety as a writer. Okay, I'm excited, I'm nervous, but let's just do this. Drum roll, please. The title of my personal development book is Be Your Own Hashtag Goals. It feels so good to finally say that, and I'm going to put the cover up for you right here. And the projected release date is a lot sooner than people may think. This book is going to be released on Tuesday, May 1st of this year, 2018. So, you know, in basically like a month. <laughs> And really, this is because on May 4th, which is that Friday, I actually turned 30 years old. So when I first started writing, I'd actually made it a goal to write and publish a personal development book before I turned 30 years old. And so this is it. It's be your own hashtag goals. Again, it's a project I've been working on for two years and I feel really, really good about where it's at. I'm ready to share it with the world, to share it with all of you. If you like my podcast, That Smart Hustle, then this book is definitely going to be right up your alley. I just go a lot deeper into some of the concepts that I've touched on in my podcast. And I also explore new topics and new things that I've learned and new experiences that I haven't shared with you guys yet. So yeah, that is it. Be Your Own Hashtag Goals will be out Tuesday, May 1st, 2018, and it will be available in paperback and also ebook, but it will not be available in hardcover. So I'm going to have it available for pre-order on Amazon sometime this week. So make sure you're following me on social media. I will pop it in one of these corners. Make sure you're following me there because that's where I tend to announce a lot of things since I'm on social media daily and I'm only on YouTube twice a week. Also this week, it is going to be added to Goodreads. You can add it to your TBR list if that's something that interests you. The other great thing is that this book is also being released before my domestic book tour so that way you can order your copy and if that's one that you want to have signed by me then that'll be an option. I also will have more information about this book and what it's about what it entails on my website at kristenmartinbooks.com just click on the buy books tab on the menu bar and you will see be your own hashtag goals listed and that way you can read more about it. I would love to know if you guys are excited for this book if you like the cover what you 
you think of it. So make sure to drop me a line in the comments down below. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up to support my channel. You can also support me through my Jubilant link, which is listed in the description box below. All of my Amazon best-selling books, The Alpha Drive, The Order of Omega, Restitution, and Shadow Crown are available for purchase on Amazon and Barnes & Noble, as well as the Book Depository and Books A Million. You can also order signed copies of all of my books. For more information on how to get your hands on autographed copies, please go to my website at kristenmartinbooks.com and click on the Buy Books tab on the menu bar. If you are a fan of audiobooks, make sure to check out my affiliate link with Audible in the description box below. You can get a free audiobook download and a free 30-day trial for their service. Registration for my self-study coaching program for writers called Valiance is still open. To learn more and sign up, go to my website at kristenmartinbooks.com and click on the Valiance Coaching Program tab on the menu bar. There is a freebie up on my other website at thatsmarthustle.com called Five Action Steps You Can Take Right Now to Start Showing Up for Your Dreams. And if you benefit from that guide, then you will absolutely love my mini webinar series called Hustle Smarter, Not Harder. To learn more, read testimonials, and sign up, go to thatsmarthustle.com and click on the webinars tab on the menu bar. And if you just can't get enough of the girl boss vibes, make sure to check out my podcast, which is available on iTunes and SoundCloud. It's called That Smart Hustle. You can find the links in the description box below. And like I mentioned before, if you're not already following me on social media, like Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, make sure you do that for daily writing inspiration and advice, as well as to stay up to date on any price promotions, announcements, or giveaways that might be going on. If you have any questions or think of a topic for one of my next videos, please leave it in the comments down below. Again, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. I post new writing advice videos on Mondays and personal day in the life vlogs on Thursdays. I will see you guys next time. Bye!